Hello and welcome to another Keep It Wheels video. On this episode, we drive to Rotorua. Rotorua is known for their geothermal activity. After a long drive, everyone got pretty hungry. Uh, when we got into town, we did stop at a nearby shopping centre where we went into this place called the Burgerfield. Um, it wasn't till when I looked around and noticed that most of the things were made out of parts from a motorbike. So at the counter you can see that there's a wheelchair sign there. So there is a tray that pops out um, which allows you to place your food there um, instead of reaching up onto the bench. We don't normally see this in around Australia. Um, I found that New Zealand is pretty good with uh, accessibility things for disabled people. Also what I liked was the uh, the cardboard cutout here so when you put that together you can actually put your burger inside and uh, hold on to it while you eat. Um, as you can see they do have amazing names for their uh, burgers uh, which pretty much catches your eye if you're a car guy. After a good feed uh, we went to a place called the 3D Art Gallery and uh, as you can see here, we had a bit of fun uh, taking some photos. So here I'll put up a few photos uh, that you guys can have a laugh at and enjoy. <laughs> So after getting peed on by this little baby, we thought it's time to clean up and check in at our resort. We stayed at the Regal Palms Resort, which was in the center of Rotorua. Uh, and the first thing I could only think about was this smell that came to me as soon as I got out of the car. It was a very strong smell. Um, you do get used to it later on. Uh, the smell does come from all the sulfur that is in the geothermal activity area. So this resort does have two accessible rooms. Uh, the room that I got was a two bedroom family room, which was very accessible still. Uh, as you can see, all the doors are sliding doors, um, just easier for a person in a chair to open up. This is one of the bedrooms there, there's a bathroom in there and this is the uh, the main shower. As you can see here, it is fairly big and accessible. Um, obviously I did not use that spa. So after the little man had a bit of a nap, uh, my partner thought it was a great idea to go for a walk at a park where there were geothermal activity areas uh, in multiple sections. The weather was nice when we got out, but obviously uh, it did start raining when we got out of the car. Um, this just made it a bit more exciting, I guess. Uh, pushing in the rain isn't that fun. Um, if you don't have side guards on your chair, your pants does get fairly wet um, and your legs do get cold. And unfortunately for myself, uh, the chair that I took over did not have those side guards, so I did get fairly wet at this stage. So here is a bit of a view that you can see while we cross the bridge. Coming up here you can see that there is a geothermal area where people can put their feet into the water. 
Uh, this one is not 100 degrees Celsius, so allows people to have a bit of fun and put their feet in there. Apparently this is a well-known area that we found out later on. Um, we could have brought our stuff as well, but unfortunately we didn't bring anything with us to be able to put our feet in there. Here you can actually see the steam coming out of the water. This water is fairly hot, uh, they do not recommend anyone going into this water. Um, the water does hit 100 degrees, um, as you can see here, they do have warnings not to climb over or swim in that water, otherwise you will get fairly burnt. So from here onwards, um, I did stop pushing. I did wait uh, for them at a sheltered area. The rain did get fairly heavy um, and there was no concrete paths. So it was fairly muddy and very difficult to push on. Um, I did not bring a rain jacket, um, silly me. I should have thought about it, but I was happy enough to just wait under the shelter for them to get back. As you can see here, there are warning signs everywhere. Um, I do recommend if you do go with kids or have a child to make sure you know where they are at all times. And if you do have little ones to be holding their hands because you never know how quick they get around. Although I didn't push to the area, I was glad that I gave my camera and was able to see this nice view after I got back. So after getting soaked, we did go back to the hotel and had a shower and changed and went to a nearby pub to have a quick feed before we uh, rested up for the night. This brings us to an end of our first day at Rotorua. I will be uploading more videos from Rotorua, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and help the channel out. Thank you.